All right, well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back with you today. And look who we got here, Jean-Pierre, the Beverage Ramble. I'm here. That's right. <laughs> and what way to, what better way to get things started than with a local Georgia brew, since that's where we are. This is Fall Line Lager. They're out of Macon, Georgia. Introduced in 2020, just a really small craft brewery. And I love like the macro, it's kind of got like a macro can design. It almost reminds me of Hams because it's got the gold and the red. So. Also another one that's from here, what is it? The uh, city, what is it, a craft, some, something, Lloyd's Lager, kind of, some, some, some Lager, Lloyd's Lager, but kind of same uh, look to it, you know, Yeah, uh, which is kind of cool. You know. So 5%, or no, 5.2% ABV. One is, one is up there, that's kind of beer, that's my liking. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pour you up first there. Sure. I have a so, feeling we're just, yeah, it's going to be like pretty simple. Like smell like your standard lager scent. Kind of a golden, light golden appearance with a very fizzy head that's already gone on mine, but if you pour it aggressively, you get it to stick around a little bit. Are kind of hard for pour. Jay pours this right here. Yeah, down straight the down the middle. Down, down the middle. Works for you, Mr. T. But, <laughs> but yeah, it has an interesting scent. It smells like a lager. It smells like your. It smells like a lager, lager, but yeah, with the craft lagers, you get a little bit of the citrus hop notes in there. I'm getting like a little bit of like a lemon mm -hmm. zest in there. But it's pretty straightforward, bready, a little lemony, mm -hmm. very light. I'm sure this is going to go down really easy. All right, so cheers. Definitely, like you said, definite lemon, kind of a little mildly sweet, but you know, the lemon zest in there and it feels light. It doesn't feel heavy at all, you know. Very light body. Very much so. High medium carbonation with it, very prickly. You know, there's certain beers that uh, like this, that you say 5.2, that would say, hmm, it doesn't, but then like you start to feel it. But this one, no, nah, not at all. Maybe three cans I can probably then I'll feel it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can drink a few of these. Yeah. This is good football watching right. beer right here. And one thing I'll say about Georgia, man, this is, and I've been to a couple of uh, breweries. I've been to Slow Pour, which is in Lawrenceville. Okay. Uh, I've been before. to uh, Social Fox Brewery. I mean, there are a lot of small breweries that, mm -hmm. and, and of course, we all know the big ones, you know, from Sweetwater to... Terrapin, which yeah, is now Mouse Coors, Coors, but, yeah, you know, and Sweetwater, corporate actually, ownership, you know. <laughs> Sweetwater's not independent anymore either. They were bought out by a Canadian cannabis company, wow, which yeah. is insane. So, well, then if you look at some of the beers they've been doing, they did that the 420 strain. So the G13, doing a lot of the terpenes and the uh, the cannabis kind flavor of type beers. of beers they've been So you know, kind of kind of makes sense what what you know they would get bought out, but. Um, but yeah, but it's a lot of those local breweries that I've, I've been to, and I, I'm saying very impressed with what, what I've seen so far here in the state, you know. Right. And Bama has its, it, it, it's, it's. It's uh, got a, a couple of good ones in Alabama. Alabama. Good, good people, as I mentioned, whatever, but. Uh, good people, trim tabs mm -hmm. up there in Birmingham. But this is, this is um, not bad, folks. Fairhope is good. You got me turned on to the Fairhope yes. here. <laughs> I had never had any before. And uh, when I was in Alabama a couple of years ago, I remember you had mentioned it. So I found some Fairhope beers. I got the. Uh, What's that one? The Causeway IPA right. is really good and got a lot of pretty good beers. But yeah, this this brewery, Fall Line, they make, I was looking at their website, they're pretty, keeping it simple, nothing barrel-aged, nothing like really crazy fancy. They kind of just down-to-earth, easy-drinking beers. This lager here is it's pretty standard, but it's really enjoyable. And the little bit of that crafty note with the lemon zest and the hops in there kind of makes it a little bit better than... A lot of the the macro lagers, uh, but I mean, you still have like your iconic brands like Budweiser and um, like PBR is one of my personal favorites. I think PBR, I definitely. probably still prefer PBR to this, but uh, this is a good beer. I would give it like a ninety three. Like just getting into that solid A, but it's not going to blow your socks off or anything. But if you like standard lager beers and you drink a lot of macros this might be a nice little change you know, like of pace. i said you know i remember what, what term it was uh founders had came out with the solid gold mm -hmm. lager which i thought it was excellent i, said, I, I like that, that over too. yeah the you solid know, gold is really good and thought it'd be i thought i might just say it was better than budweiser at the time you know yeah that was just my personal preference but one thing also is kind of good when you go to these local bars you know you have these see these beers and it's like okay they're giving us some support and that's the key thing and i'm 
been very, since last year with the pandemic and all, been really supporting a lot of more local, small right. stuff, you know, just but supporting because that really helps just when you give that few extra dollars more to that local company, it makes a big difference to you in your town that you live in. So, mm -hmm. like I said, there's Social Fox is like less than like 10 minutes away where I live. And of course, Lawrenceville with uh, slow pour. Um, but, um, but yeah, I'm getting back to this beer. I, this is, like I said, this is a good lager. Um, I'm going to go about 92 out of 100. So we're about off of the Okay, rate. yeah. All right. So yeah, a good beer, Fall Line uh, Brewing Company. If you do get their beers in your area, definitely worth checking out. I think it was nine ninety nine for the six pack, which about, about, for a craft about, lager, that's, 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 that's pretty that's standard these days. So, all right. That'll do it for this beer for you guys. Jean-Pierre, John and Ellie, signing out for now. We'll see you on another one. Cheers. Cheers.